Hey Juffer, can we learn the unit circle? <laughs> what, 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 what? What, 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 what? What, 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 what? What, what, what? What? What do you? What do you? What do you mean? What do you? What do you? What do you mean? What do you? What do you? What do you mean? What do you? What do you? What do you mean? We need the unit circle. Only got five different numbers on it. Square root three over two, square root two over two, zero, one, and one half. Draw a circle with a radius of one. Look at that, we have four coordinates done. Zero and one, along with their negatives. With these four compass points, now we're in business. Rolling round and round we go, setting up that next angle. Two sets of 30, it will be almost pristine. That should take us round the circle, making 360. Probably asking yourself if something's missing. Oh man, it's the 45 set. Add it. Adding in the radians, now the circles are filled in. We just need the ordered pair, some of which are kind of shared. To do this, we'll use some values. Three, no more than three. So for this, we will not need any technology. I'ma take your calculator, I'ma take your calculator. And I asked you for your phone, it's just a short-term loan. For the four sets of 45 degrees, square root two over two is the only thing you'll need. Do you need a negative? Watch out for negatives. If it's quadrant two or three, then the X is negative. If it's quadrant three or four, then the Y is negative. If it's quadrant one, then X and Y are positive. Now we got a good start on this unit circle chart. Wait, time to refresh. Aw oh, man, here we go. We need the unit circle. Only got five different numbers on it. Square root three over two, square root two over two, zero, one, and one half. We need the unit circle. Only got five different numbers on it. Square root three over two, square root two over two, zero, one, and one half. What you know about rounding the two not filled in? Square root three over two is about point eight and one half. One half is equal to point five, so root three over two is larger height. Taking all the other angles that have not been labeled will involve a combo of the prior two values stated. But the real question is, which order do they go in? I could go ahead and tell you, but I think I'll keep on rapping. 30 degrees, pi over six of you please. This angle's closer to which of the two axes? Well, it's closer to the x. Yes, it's the x-axis. With the right triangle, we see what the larger length is. Is. You'd be like, oh, the x would be the longer length. I'm like, yo, that's right, the y would be the shorter length. If square root 3 over 2 is the decimal that is bigger, and x is the number that needs to be the larger, our ordered pair for 30 will be just so, so pretty. It's root 3 over 2, followed by 1 half, dude. 60 degrees will have the same philosophy, only this time it's closer to the y-axis line, making y the bigger side. Now to get the other angles, it's ro 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 reflection time. It's reflection time. Reflect! We need the unit circle. Only got five different numbers on it. Square root three over two, square root two over two, zero, one, and one half. If it's closer to x, the x is the biggest. Then what that means to do is make the x root three over two. If it's closer to y, the y's the larger type. Then what that means to do is make the y root 3 over 2. We need the unit circle. Only got five different numbers on it. Square root 3 over 2, square root 2 over 2, 0, 1, and 1 half. Is that your math teacher?